UFC featherweight division fight. See, this is a true mixed martial artist of the highest order. You've watched the film. Hard for me to see much in terms of glaring weaknesses, and he believes he can react to anything that is thrown his way inside that arm. It's unbelievable, because whenever you're trying to prepare for someone, you look for weaknesses. But when you watch this guy, you, nothing jumps off the page. When you think I have to go wrestle him, you realize very quickly that not only can he defend takedowns, he can also go and secure the sure. himself. He's that new breed of fighter that has been doing every discipline from the very start of his career. You know you're looking at a guy that will contend for a championship. And if our fighter meeting on Thursday is any indication, confidence not an issue for this young man coming in here tonight. You can argue this is the most influential martial artist of all time, the great Bruce Lee, making his walk to the octagon here tonight, champ. Everybody wants to be Bruce Lee. They say they want to be like Mike. If you're a fighter, you want it to be like Bruce Lee. You want it to be that fast. You want it to be that charismatic. You want it to have an ability to just freeze your opponents. Your speed, your movement, just the diversity in the attacks that you can give your opponents would just confuse people. I mean, I watched him beat a seven-foot Kareem after Jafar to stay undefeated. Right. If you could do that, you could do anything. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once. I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times, Bruce Lee, in a nutshell. Just so wise. Our tale of the date for this featherweight fight. So three years the gap in age between these two fighters, and they both possess a similar height and reach. Here's Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC featherweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 11 wins, two losses. He stands five feet, nine inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Super Sonic U! Ah! And now we produce his opponent, fighting at the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting at Los Angeles, California, USA, Bruce the Dragon Lee. All right, grip the rules in the locker room. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. On a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, go back to your corners, come out fighting. They touch him up, and we are underway. Well, these guys have been on each other's radars for quite some time. Tonight, it shall be done. Both guys well-rounded. You think we're getting a kickboxing match tonight or what? You just don't know, right? You don't know who's going to be able to employ their strategy the way that they need to. This is a close fight on paper, and also in every performance we have seen them put on. These guys seem to be the mirror image of each other. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this jumper. Oh, and he connects with that. That's how you scramble, folks. Bleeding from his cheek now. Right hand punch to the clinch. Lee going for the leg kick. Nothing doing there. Oh, he landed that knee to the midsection. Got to think his opponent's going to feel that one in the morning. And he's going to continue to throw that strike because he knows 
that his opponent can't take many of them. Oh, vicious kick to the outside of that lead leg. You gotta start checking these, You've man. You got to check these kicks, or you're gonna be limping around the octagon very shortly. Check yourself before you wreck yourself. Get you, get you. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Oh, and he caught the kick. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Stuffs the takedown, no problem. I mean, he's cutting down the side with these beautiful leg kicks. Oh, collar tie. Lee gets tagged with a kick now. Let's see if he can round. All right, so again, we find ourselves here in the clinch where there are obviously no shortage of subtleties and nuances, a lot of motions in here that maybe are lost on the casual. Level. Absolutely, and it's gonna be the underhook. For all the things that happen in this position, the person winning and controlling the underhook battle is the one out of hit. Straight right, he misses. All right, so he continues to use his jab effectively here, DC. He gets that hand to the target pretty quick. I mean, just right away, blast the jab after jab after jab. He's a phenomenal boxer with a vast understanding of fighting behind that educated jab. And then he lands a nice elbow. Ooh, blocks the shot. Unable to connect with the right hand there. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Nice straight punch. And they separate. Oh, man, his leg kicks are outstanding, and you saw a great example of that just there. And you see his opponent starting to slow down. He cannot take many of those kicks. And he landed the right hand there. He is all about that left kick to the body. Look at him drive his chin into his opponent's body with that body kick. Yeah, he's mixed it all up. Well, he's always on the counterattack, but a nice leg kick there by Lee. Ooh, what a punch. He loaded up with that right hand, too. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. And there comes the separation now. A hook to the body here, but strong defense by Lee. He's got the turtle in that kick. Splits the guard, lands the right hand. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are gonna take their toll as this fight goes on. Nice kick, these guys are going at it. Ooh, big shot land. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Oh, single collar tie here. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Big power shot there. And follows up with another one. 20 seconds to go. Right punches there. Oh, he continues to attack that bloody cheek. His face is a mess. Big call from punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Oh, nice. Nice. Got a clip with the right hand. All right, now we take a look back at some of the highlights. He has had his kicking game going early and often tonight. I mean, on point, right? He knew that this was going to be a way for him to take control of this fight. He's used those kicks to really put him out ahead. And I'm not sure if his opponent has the ability to adjust and stop him from landing these over and over. Let's work on that cut a little bit. I need you to keep your distance now. That cut's pretty bad, and it's only going to get worse. You have to be smart with your All right, so here we go with our next round. DC, you are known for having one of the higher fight IQs in the game. And I would put him on that list after what we saw in terms of the body work there in the previous round. He did a fantastic job of mixing up his target, not headhunting, going to the body, making that investment 
into forcing a mistake later that will allow him to chase his finish. That's a big strike right there. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Oh, nice job to defend the takedown and scramble to his feet. Lands flush with that right hand. Nice job of hiding that head kick. Single collar tie, master of the transition. Nice scramble. Oh, and he caught the kick. Nice punch lands over the top. Got the single collar tie. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. Over and over, he's landing these big body kicks. Checks the leg kick. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. They continue to exchange. Came with inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. DC didn't take him long to find his range here tonight, huh? His timing is on point. All right, single collar tie now. Wow, what a kick. Huge kick lands. Great punch. Lands with the right hand. Well, his corner was pretty urgent after round one. A little bit lackluster there in that opening round. He has certainly picked up the pace here. And as a result, he has taken control of this second round. What a tricky head kick. Oh, nice right hand. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Lee gets hit by that leg kick. Oh, man, that cut is nasty. Nice. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. Nice head kick. Lands the right hand. Massive double from the clip. Punches block. He comes forward with a flying knee that just missed hitting the target flush. Ooh, what a punch. That's a perfect scramble right there. Beautiful transition. Oh, a little single collar tie there. Oh, significant strike attempt there, but a huge block! Big roundhouse now, just misses. Real quick leg kick. Yeah, he's mixing it all up. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. Nice strike. Oh, pretty good combination of leg kicks there by Lee. Nice head kick. Goes back to that left kick once again. And both guys really throwing with authority. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Such a fast leg kick. As he gets close, he's out of the kicking range. He'll suddenly he'll change his stance. And they separate. Nice defense. Liver kick. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Oh, collar tie. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those legs. All right, so he lands a jab there. Pretty nicely done, DC. You can really control a fight just knowing how to fight behind your jab. It's a beautiful, fast foot jab with meaning. in a single collar tie. 10 seconds now to go in the round. Lee gets hit by that leg kick. May not be a bad idea to start to check some of these.
All right, let's take a look back at some of the replays, DC. And if you like the kicking game, that was the round for you. Yeah, man, he used his kicks beautifully. He managed distance, managed space, and eventually those kicks started to really take an effect on his opponent and slow him down. He has to stay the course next round. All right, DC, buckle up. Here we go with our next Ready. round. High number of kicks landed in the previous round, and he'll look to keep it going. He'll look to keep winning the fight with his kicks. He's throwing high kick, leg kick, body kick. He's even throwing a couple spin kicks in there. This guy is so educated with fighting with his legs. I mean, look at the commitment to kicking in this fight. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Beautiful punch. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. Leg kick. Oh, single collar tie here. This fight's gonna be over, DC. What a great way of mixing up his attack. He didn't stay the course. He mixed it up. He went high when his opponent thought he was going low. And now he's got him hurt very badly. Lee's tough as it gets, but how about the size of that bruise starting to form on his right side? He's mixing up his target. He's throwing kicks. He's throwing punches. Punches in bunches, and he hasn't really shown any signs of slowing down here tonight. I'm not sure how much more his opponent can take. Single collar tie now. Body shot now, but it's turned back by Lee. Great punch landing with so much power. Got the single collar tie, and they separate. Oh, man, you can hear it. Boom, boom, boom. Nice elbow land. Again, back into this position. Good series of strikes for him there, staying busy and staying accurate. I mean, the accuracy is unbelievable. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Beautiful body kick. Well, not sure if he's lighter on his feet or what it is, but these last couple of rounds, he's been far more aggressive, a lot more pressure. Oh, he's really starting to light him up now. Oh, lands another punch there. Not a mean guy. He's just doing the smart thing. Oh, he has to be attacking that cut, John. I mean, if he's not, then he's doing his opponent a favor. Attack that cut. Make it pay for it. Punch coming. It's blocked. Oh, that's, no, there's danger in that, too, because when you start reaching down to catch that kick, from the high kick, then you're in a lot of trouble. Takedown defense holds up. All right, single collar tie now. Oh, slips the offering there and then rips back at the target. Boom! Outstanding kick there by Lee. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Right hand punch from the clinch. Good punch land. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. Oh, and he lands yet another strike to the body. Pinpoint placement right underneath the elbow. Big knee there to the chest. Every time these guys come together, man, you just hear the, the punches and everything landing. Both, both very powerful, very, very explosive. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. And he connects with a punch there. We'll see if he can follow it up. He's landed that punch over and over again. What's he gonna do to follow up? Left-right combo is good. Just unable to quite find that range. Well, if you like Muay Thai striking, this might be your moment in this fight as he gets the tie clinch. This is a massive moment for this fighter. He is a great Muay Thai fighter. Look for him to go knee-knee and then try to land a big one to the head. Oh, late defense on the takedown and scrambles to his feet. Nice and All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Beautiful strike. Back and forth we go. 
Oh, and he continues to pour it on. We mentioned earlier the aggression with his striking. Got to be careful to not gas out here, but at least you have to admire the approach. Way to hide that leg kick. 10 seconds to go in the round. Much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. Well, I'm not sure the extent to which he has recovered, but we do see the end of the round. DC, talk us through the replay. Well, he's a tough guy. He's going to make it to the stool. He's going to survive unless you put him completely out of there. Unfortunately, he's in there with a guy that does have that ability. Next round is now underway. I thought there was pretty good back and forth action in the previous round. Yes, it wasn't a far fight. It wasn't two guys doing the kitchen sink at each other. But you did see times where they came together and you saw the skill level of these two fighters. Well, not only has he stayed aggressive as he was in the previous round, landing a high volume of strikes, but he's also been efficient, not just with his strikes, but also with his body movement. Complete performance out of this fighter here tonight. And he connects with a punch there. We'll see if there's more where that came from. Boxing, boxing, boxing. Oh, a little single collar tie there. Oh, big knee there. Get right here. Battle for position here. Lunges forward with a left there. Wicked nice leg kick there, DC. Can't take too many of those. Oh, yes, it is a lost art in mixed martial arts. Not just the jab, but the double jab. I mean, a beautiful double jab. That thing's thrown right from the jet, too. Oh, and he caught the kick. He blocked the punch. Oh, he did a great job of rotating it into an underhook. Nice job to raise the guard and block another strike there. He doesn't want the ringside position anywhere near this octagon. He has to understand that at any moment, if this thing goes down into the eye, the referee and the commission will have to stop the fight. Great job being aware, keeping the hands up, and blocking, making sure to minimize the damage to that already cut eye. Oh, nice slip there. It sounds simple, right? Hit and don't get hit, but this guy's defense has been sharp. Cat and mouse, you gotta play cat and mouse. Hit and don't get hit, and he does a great job of that. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. All right, so he continues to land that patented jab and keeping his opponent at bay. You can know that it's coming, but until you're in there with him, the speed and the power of that jab is something you can't really prepare for. Powerful leg kick lands. Oh, collar tie. And they separate. Real sneaky body kick. Oh, there's a takedown attempt. Unable to get the fight to the ground. Nice job by the opponent there. Nice job by the opponent, defending the takedown, but now he is going to have to mix it up again. The first shot will not work. He's got to go one, two, three at a time to try to overwhelm him to give him too much to process to try to get this fight to the ground. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Blocks the shot. Really timing his shots nicely. Good tempo, very accurate, finding the range with relative ease. Yeah, he's doing a great job of really overwhelming his opponent with activity. Well, he's been pretty accurate tonight. He's landed some significant strikes, but his corner's looking for him to mix it up a little bit more and just throw more volume. Because they don't see too much of a threat. This guy has to have confidence in knowing that when he extends his combinations, he's still safe, but he's also going to be able to land. He's got to be finding that confidence in his mind that all the reps in the training room are going to pay off. If you take more of these leg kicks, you will not be able to be very active on your feet. Connects with a right. 90 seconds now. Right there, his opponent's wobble champ. He's hurt bad. This dude needs to grab. He needs to wrestle. He has to do something. He cannot take another shot like that. Big punch land. Ooh. Oh, 
Oh, nice scramble by him there. Takedown defense on point. He is a master in transition. And full fighters exchange in the pocket here. Under a minute now to go on the round. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Liver kick, if you take those kicks, it's gonna shut your body off. Oh, he gets the takedown late in the round here, DC. That could be pretty useful when it comes to the scorecard potential. Very useful when it comes to the scorecard, but also a testament to his conditioning and his cardio to still be throwing takedown attempts at the end of rounds instead of when he's fresh. Seconds left. Now the guy's got an armbar. He's attacking it on him. You gotta be careful, armbar. You gotta recognize that one. Oh, and there's the horn at the end of the round. So the fighter was really caught in a submission there just as the horn sounded. Safe to say he was saved by the bell there. So back to the stools they go. 60 seconds to recover here. We're going to fight on, ladies and gentlemen. Another round coming up. All right, let's take a look back at some of the highlights from those previous five minutes, DC. And uh, no padding, no glove on that foot. No glove, no padding. And look at the hip action when he throws those kicks. He's not only kicking just for feel. He's really trying to damage his opponent. And as the fight goes longer, you will start to see it taking effect. All right, here we go as our next round gets underway. His strong leg packs so much power that even when he doesn't throw it full throttle, you see he's able to inflict damage. We'll see if he can keep it going here in this He round. doesn't throw it full power, but even when he faints it, he draws out reactions from his opponents because they don't want to get hit with any more of those kicks. It's a sight to behold. And they still... Oh! Good series of strikes by him there. Great job of mixing it up, staying active, keeping busy, doing great work. Back to the body shots now, that one's locked. Oh, swelling and blood. You wonder if at some point that's gonna impact the breathing. Not a good situation for him here. Oh, lands a stiff punch there, nice connection. Oh, nice land. He does everything so well, and he's so calm. He's so calm in the face of such a big spot. Oh, single collar tie here. Look at the force behind that leg kick. Throws the right hand there. Single collar tie now. And they separate. And forth we go. Massive, massive hook lands, and his opponent seems to be on his way out of the fight. Lands with the kick there, no pat on that foot. No shit guard. He's taking all of that kick every time he throws it. Just over three minutes now to go in the fight. Visibly limping here. All right, late in the fight now, he needs a finish or he's gonna lose this fight tonight. We'll see if he goes for it. I mean, he's gotta pull out all the stops. There is more strategy. There is more time to try to set up a punch. You gotta just start letting everything fly. Nice loop and punch. Timing his shots nicely here, champ. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up and using a lot of diverse strikes. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Can't take many of those, you better check. Got the single collar tie. Well, that knee strike attempt blocked by Lee. Boy, Ty Plum. Nice leg kick. Hardy closes the distance, gets the single collar tie, and they separate.
That was a thudding leg kick. Effective punch there by Lee. All right, single collar tie now. Oh, big roundhouse attempt just misses. That could have been nice like entry that. into the finish direct. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. Oh, he postured up there, gained some valuable separation. And now, the ground and pound starts. One minute to go in the fight. Closed guard here. He's very comfortable here working off his back, DC. Oh, you got to watch him attack his submissions. He throws the legs up to try to get a triangle choke here. Doesn't seem to be in a great position to finish the triangle. Oh! Now reversal. Oh, I mean, he reversed it into his arm bar. So he submits him with the arm bar. I mean, just steps ahead of the competition where you're playing checkers, he's playing chess in the ground fighting. And it showed tonight in this big submission victory. Right, so a wild round and a wild sequence there on the ground, DC. Talk us through the highlight. He's such a phenomenal grappler. I don't understand how people don't know that this guy wants to submit you. He is the best grappler best submission specialist we've seen in a long time. So there he is, your winner by submission, and that's exactly how you put the rest of this division on notice. Looks like this guy could be a factor moving forward in this division. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Mergliata has called a stop to this contest at 4 minutes, 34 seconds of round number 5. Declaring the winner by tap out, Bruce the Dragon Lee! All right, so there he is, all smiles, and rightfully so, after he gets the job done by submission tonight. You told me off the air before the fight that he was going to submit him, and that's exactly what happened. Man. I mean, you know this guy has such a great submission game that you cannot lay in his guard, and his opponent is known 